Hello viewers and welcome to the channel. Today we will discuss this problem. In the problem, these three circles are touching each other according to the diagram given. These two lines are parallel to each other. This circle touches these two lines. These two lines are tangent. And this circle, these two circles are touching each other. Centers of these circles are C, C1, C2 and respectively R, R1 and R2 are radii of these circles. We are given that the this radius is 9 cm and length of this radius is 16 cm. We don't have this radius, we have to calculate this radius. To solve this problem, we need some constructions so joining C1, C2 from C1 join this point of contract and from C2 join this point of contract and from this central point join these two contracts which will be a straight line. So let's name these points A, B, P, Q. Since point of contract from the center with tangent will be perpendicular so this is 90, this is 90, 90 and this is also 90. Radius of this is unknown and CA is CB which is R. This is also R. From C1 draw perpendicular to this and from C2 draw perpendicular to this diameter. From center C1 this is drawn perpendicular and from C2 this is drawn perpendicular to the diameter. Now joining these two centers and these two centers. Centers and the point of contact will be in a straight line so joining this C and C1 will pass through this point of contact and this point of contact. C, C1 and C, C2 joined. Now from this center draw perpendicular to this perpendicular drawn. This R1 is given as 9 so from here to here it is 9. And from here to here it is 16. This is 16. This. So this is also from here to here 16. So only this part is R minus 16. And this part is R minus 9. Whole thing is R. This is 9. So this is R minus 9. So we have three right angle triangles. Triangle 1 triangle 2 and this triangle 3 let this common tangent AP be X and let this common tangent BQ be Y which is to be found this from here to here is capital R so this C C1 length will be R plus 9 and in the same way this C C2 is R plus 16 we can now use Pythagorean theorem. From triangle 1, this is x. From triangle 1, this square is equal to this square plus this square. So therefore, x square is equal to this square minus this square. So from triangle 1, x square is this square minus this square. So that is equal to a square minus b square type so a plus b in one bracket and a minus b in other bracket so that will be x square is equal to sum of these two and this minus this in second bracket minus 9 plus 9 will get cancelled minus r plus r will get cancelled so 2r into 18 which is 36r so we found x is equal to square root of 36r which is 6 square root r. So first result we found and x is equal to 6 root r. In the same way from triangle 2 this y square is equal to this r plus 16 square minus r minus 16 square. In the same way we can write y square is equal to 2r plus 16 plus r minus 16 into r plus 16 minus r plus 16 
minus 16 plus 16 will get cancelled minus r and r will get cut so 2r into 32 which is 64r and we get y is equal to 8 root r so here it is 8 root r so from here to here it is 6 root r from here to here it is 8 root r so to get this part only 8 root r minus 6 root r which is 2 root r from here to here now from triangle 3 from triangle 3 this is c1 plus this is r1 plus r2 this is 9 this is 16 so 25 and this is what r minus 16 plus r minus 9 this length will be 2r minus 25 this is 2 root r so we can use Pythagoras theorem here 2r minus 25 the whole square plus 2 root r the whole square which is equal to 16 plus 9 25 square if we simplify it we will get 4r square plus 625 minus twice of product of these two which is 100r plus 4r which is 625 625 and 625 will get cut and this will be 4r square minus 96r which is equal to 0 after taking 4r common we are getting r minus 24 which is equal to 0 either 4r is 0 which keeps r is 0 which is not possible or r minus 24 is 0 gives r is equal to 24 centimeter so this is the required answer r is equal to 24 centimeter